Hey, everybody, and welcome to the college football edition of ProLine. We're going to look at two of the best games on this weekend's schedule. Nebraska playing host to UCLA, rematch of a wild game they had last year. And speaking of rematches, Alabama looking to avenge their only defeat from 2012 as they take on Texas A&M down in College Station. What a duel that ought to be. Jim Feist is here to talk about that game. John Cranton is here. Jeff Saad, our man in the street, along with uh, uh, HK Malay. We'll have a couple of free plays coming up from those guys. I'm Dave Koken. It's going to be a lot of fun this weekend. Uh, can't wait for these games. And uh, fortunately, I'm off to a really good start in college football. I may as well talk about my special right off the bat here. Two weeks ago, perfect 4-0 on Saturday in college football. Last Saturday, end up 6-2 and two with all the plays, including a top championship play on Houston. And uh, Ball State also very, very big for me last weekend. Plus... I had my Mountain West game of the month. It actually wasn't a Mountain West conference game, but it involved the Mountain West team, UNLV, played against them with Arizona. So that was a big winner as well. Success after success after success in college football. And I've got some big stuff this weekend. Uh, actually, by the way, throw in, you can go back to last Friday. I had the 2-0 and with Central Florida and BC Wake, Wake Forest Thunder. So it's, it's been tremendously good out of the gate in college. And here's what I've got this weekend. Uh, you've got to play through Monday. Get my colleges. We're also going to, going to include the NFL. It's $25. That also includes a higher roller play going tonight, one of my window plays going tonight, and my college football game of the month, which goes on Saturday. Everything for $25. Make one phone call, and you're ready to go. 1-866-896-1629. That's 1-866-896-1629. Jim, big start. For you in Washington State, how sweet was that? When you take a big underdog and you don't even need the points on one of your big games, when they win the game outright, that, that's, that's when you know you're, you're, you're on it. And uh, you're zeroed in on the target. And, and that's when people want to be on your games. The, the rule of thumb right there is just keep fading Layden Kiffin. Really? <laughs> yeah, really. I nailed, nailed that game. The game of the month with, uh, like Dave said, Washington State stunned USC. Uh, I had a great college uh, card. Uh, had a few losers in there, too, which were disappointing. My pro card also was extremely good to Titans. I had five totals at one. Five and oh in the totals. I've always been real good at the totals, Dave. Um, I have a big offer this week. Here it is. NFL in college executive plays. Plus, a high roller release that's going tonight. That's right. NFL college executive plays through the end of September, plus a high roller release that's going this evening. That includes, the, that's my college rivalry game of the month on Saturday as well. Call 1-866-841-1655. one 841 1655 It's $39.00. That's not very much money. The kind of winning that I'm doing right now, you want to get on board 39 small grocery dollars. I'm not asking for 3900 which is worth 39 grocery dollars. 1-866-841-1655. Now, if you want free plays each and every day, just text WINNER, W-I-N-N-E-R, to 313131, and we'll send you free winners each and every day, right to your cell phone. Winner, 31, 31, 31. Now, if you want these big plays, call 1-866-841-1655. Rivalry game of the month, high roller, going tonight, college and pro, right through the end of September, 39 bucks. 1-866-841-1655. Back to you, Dave. Before we uh, get to the first game, we're going to check in with our man on the street, Jeff Sad from Las Vegas Sports Services, and Jeff has a free selection. Jeff, what is that play? Thanks, guys. It's got a free pick coming up in the NFL, but first, it's week three of college football, and I've got a blockbuster special. Play through Monday Night Football with LVSS for $15, college and pro football plus baseball, including my college shocker of the month and my NFC total of the month. Call LVSS at 1-866-575-8916. Free play comes from the NFL on Sunday as the Dolphins and Coach battle in Indy. Miami made big waves signing wide receiver Mike Wallace, but this offense lost Jake Long, plus had the injury to tight end Dustin Keller. The offense was terrible last season, 26 
six in passing, 17th in rushing, and young quarterback Ryan Tannehill had just 12 TDs with 13 interceptions. Miami is 19 and seven under the total on the road. Miami has a good pass rush, and they need that against Andrew Luck. And note the Coats are on a 19 and seven run under the total, 11 and two under at home. Your free play, the Dolphins and Coats under the total. Once again, get my blockbuster special play through Monday Night Football at the LVSS for $15. College and pro football plus baseball, including my college shock of the month and my NFC total of the month. Call LVS at 1-866-575-8916. All right, thanks, Jeff. Good luck this weekend. Here we go with UCLA and Nebraska, a uh, week three matchup. They played a uh, wild game last year, and UCLA came out on top against the Cornhuskers. I think the final score was 36-30, if memory serves me right. Uh, John, let's begin with you and uh, get your take on this rematch between the Bruins and the Cornhuskers, this time in Lincoln. Boy, it's a phenomenal offensive matchup when you look at the what's happened on the field. First of all, with UCLA, I love the job that Jim Mora Jr. did with his offensive coordinator, Noel Mazzone, last year. Just a dynamite, unstoppable offense. And, of course, it helps to have a competent, capable quarterback, which they have returning in quarterback Brent Hundley. This kid was just a freshman last year, 29 touchdowns and 11 picks, and four starters back on the offensive line. That's something that can pay big dividends in early games like September. Oh, we've already seen it. They played Nevada and crushed them 58 to 20, 647 yards, 345 rushing. So this team is going to be again an offensive juggernaut. Now, they're going to play Nebraska, but I have some serious concerns with the Nebraska defense because this is a defense that wasn't, wasn't weak last year at times. They were horrendous at times. Okay. Wisconsin put 70 points on them. Georgia beat them 45-31. Ohio State scored 63 points on them. Okay, did Bo Pelini fix that in the offseason? Well, they're undefeated after two games, but one of those was Wyoming. Barely won 37 to 34. They gave up 602 yards, 383 yards passing. And now here comes a polished, potent, confident UCLA offense with a great quarterback, a team that put up 653 yards on them. Uh, Jim, the matchup for me says UCLA. I totally agree, John. I, I like UCLA in this game quite a bit. Uh, they're having an emotional week, they, the death of one of their players that they've had to overcome. And uh, they're all going to be wearing a, a little badge, I think, on their shoulder with his number. And I think Nebraska is going to be doing that as well in reference to him. Uh, it, so that's an emotional issue. But getting back to football, I think UCLA is actually the better team here. And uh, they're getting points, and I think they will revenge last week, last year's loss and come in here and win this game. Well, look, I'm going to tell you, this is what it comes down to in the Nebraska defense. They cannot stop a mobile quarterback. I mean, if you look at last year, game after game, when they were facing quarterbacks that can get out of the move and do damage, they could not handle them. Same thing this year. Brent Smith, who plays quarterback for Wyoming, very mobile guy. The Cornhuskers were lost against them. You know, last week they faced against a team that has no offense in Southern Miss. Yeah, they were, they were able to handle them and blew them out. And now they go back to facing a very good offense. I don't know how Nebraska stops them. I, I don't know whether it's their personnel or their scheme. I don't know. I'm not a football coach. All I can look at is results and what happens week after week. They have not figured out how to prevent mobile quarterbacks from going off on them. And Hundley is going to be using his feet to get them some, some damage done in this game. I, I understand the revenge factor, but I think UCLA is the better squad. And uh, this game immediately got bet down, which didn't surprise me at all. Yeah, it, it, it looks maybe like a game that's too easy to take the underdog, but uh, if, they get, if, they, if they get me, they get me. I'm taking the Bruins in this one. I like UCLA plus the points. Okay. Before we get to the big game between Alabama and Texas A&M, we want to check in with our East Coast man on the street. That would be H.K. Malay, and here he is with a free college football play. Thanks, guys. We've been talking about this game for months. Alabama, Texas A&M, Johnny Football, and the Aggies are seven-point dogs at College Station, and the total over 60. Bama going for three straight national titles. Manziel going for two straight Heismans. It's easy. Our early season game of the year, SportsBettingInvestments.com is releasing the winner of today's game absolutely free, and it's on a recorded message. 800-999-8023. That's 800-999-8023. It's our big a&M Bama going off in a couple hours, 800-999-8023. Thanks, HK. 
Well, big doings this weekend in College Station. The Alabama Crimson Tide lost one game last year. And here's how much, you know, I know sometimes they'll, they'll tell you in coach speak, well, you know, it's just another game. Uh, can't get hung up with putting too much emphasis on uh, what happened last year, blah, 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 blah. In the Alabama weight room for the past several months, there's been a continuous 24-hour <laughs> loop showing the Texas A&M game. So there is no way they're even trying to camouflage that this is a game they really want. And uh, the fact that they'll have an opportunity to go in and do it in College Station, I think that's huge for Alabama. Now, the Crimson Tide, uh, I, well, they still have some questions to be answered. You know, they're young on the offensive line. And it's going to be a challenge on the road. But at the same time, they're facing a Texas A&M defense that really isn't that good. Uh, that That's not the strength of this A&M squad. The A&M offense is another story. Uh, you know, it's funny how some people have been, I guess, taking shots at Johnny Football. And, uh, you know, we don't know how good he is. You, are you kidding? Well, I, I think the kid's a pain in the ass, to tell you the truth. Uh, he is a spoiled, he might very well be that spoiled rich kid. But, boy, I'm telling you what, if you don't think he's one of the best college football quarterbacks you've ever seen, you haven't got any clue as to what you're looking at, okay? He is an absolutely phenomenal college football quarterback. I don't know how that translates to the NFL, because they're two different games. But in college, this kid is awesome. And he's going to put points up on Alabama. I just don't know that he can put enough up to offset what Alabama's going to do offensively in this game. I think the game's going over the total. Um, I, I think the revenge factor is built into the line. It's already there. And I'm not, I'm not ready to bet against Alabama, but I don't know that I want to lay that many points on the road because this guy is very capable of putting up big numbers for A&M, and the back door could be open. Uh, it's not like A&M's going to fall behind and quit playing. But I don't think A&M's going to stop Alabama. I think McCarron's accuracy is going to be on display here. I think the Aggies are going to get their points, even though Alabama is a staunch defense, really staunch, uh, this kid doesn't get stopped at the college level. I think you got a shootout here, a lot of points, John, and I like A&M and Alabama to exceed the post of total. I'm going to take a look at some of the matchups within this game. Alabama is replacing three starters on their offensive line, easily the biggest concern coming into this season. And what, we only have one game to go by, and that was against Virginia Tech, 35-10 to 10 blowout, typical Alabama blowout, right? Well, no, when you look inside that game, they only had 206 total yards on offense, just 96 yards rushing on the ground. Not facing as good a defense here, but that's still that red flag that we knew about coming into the season. I still have question marks about on the Texas A&M side of the ball. Kevin Sumlin, terrific recruiter, loves speed, got a great quarterback, and he had a top 10 recruiting class. And here they are, a home dog. When I look at the games that they played last year that they lost to, okay, they lost to LSU on this field. Well, it was 24 to 19, close game. They lost to Florida, 20 to 17 on this field, a three point game. Uh, so they would have covered this betting number with that. And of course they played this Alabama team. The yardage was practically even. Both had just over 400 yards and Texas A&M won it. Another close game, 29, 24. So I'm going to take the home dog in this one with a grain of salt because this Alabama team, Jim, when they go on the road, they get a chip on their shoulder. They're 20 and eight against the spread on the road. So. Small lean toward A and M in this one. I got a I got a pretty good story, John. And I think you remember what happened when when I saw the matchup uh, about probably six weeks ago. I, I I was talking to John on the phone, and I was looking to get down twenty large on on Alabama in this game, and I couldn't find anybody that would take it. But I did find some at six, so I I got a fair amount at six, but I didn't get what I wanted. I wanted more. Now, I knew that once it got going uh, and everybody started looking at the matchup, the game would probably go higher. So I'm looking at a very favorable number uh, as opposed to laying seven and a half or eight, which the number is right now, which I'm not going to do. Yeah, I'm going to, I'll give out an opinion, you know, Alabama to win the game. But when you're talking about over seven, over seven yeah. and Dave mentioned that the backdoor cover is, is very possible. You know, and at the quarterback position, uh, Johnny Football is still there, but Alabama lost something in, a, in that department. And uh, I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure offensively 
they're going to be able to put up the kind of numbers that you need to cover over a touchdown. I'm not too worried about under a touchdown, but that line isn't there anymore. And, um, uh, you know, as far as Johnny Manziel is concerned, he's a great, he's a great college quarterback. Can he make it in the pros? That's always questionable when you take somebody at that level because the pros is a different game. The other problem with Manziel is obviously his attitude. And uh, that probably wouldn't carry over very well in the pros either. No. So I'm not worried. I'm not, you know, you know, somebody's going to kick his butt when he gets to the pros because that cocky attitude is going to get him hammered. But uh, in this particular game, I like Alabama to win it, but I'm not 100 percent sure it's going to. They're going to be able to cover seven and a half, eight. Um, and I don't think you completely shut down Menzel. You think he's too good for that? I liked it when it was six. But at seven and a half, eight, I'm going to probably pass it as a play. All right. We've got best bets to go through. Uh, to talk about any game in the schedule, I, I, I will start with one we talked about. I think UCLA, until Nebraska sh- shows that they've figured out some way to keep these mobile quarterbacks in the, in the pocket and not let them get out and do all kinds of damage to them on the move, which they just haven't done at all under this coaching regime, uh, you know, they've played enough games at this point uh, with these people in, in place that if they haven't figured it out by now, I don't think they're going to figure it out. So I think UCLA is going to go in and win that game, even though it's a really tough locale. And I know they're going to be very fired up for revenge in Kornowski country, but I think UCLA is the right side of the game. So I'll take the Bruins. Your best bet? Look, take advantage of this. I'm killing it in college football right now. And, you know, I've been doing this long enough and I have a good enough reputation. People know... I'm pretty good in the colleges, and uh, when I get off to a start like this, it's usually a sign that it's going to be a big, big season. This weekend, you're going to get a top play tonight, one of my high-roller window plays, NFL and college football action through Monday, and my college football game of the month. All that for $25, and all you need to do is make one phone call to 1-866-896-1629. That's 1-866-896-1629. Don't forget, free plays every day. On a text message direct to your cell phone, just text TOKEN, C-O-K-I-N, to 313131. John, uh, best bet from you, and remind us once again what Jeff Sad has going this weekend. Sure, I've heard the fans in the Rose Bowl many times chant, UCLA bleep SC, so I'll be on UCLA as the (laughs) best bet for this weekend. Las Vegas Sports Services, Jeff Saad has a college football shocker of the month. That's going Saturday. She also has an NFC total of the month going Sunday. You can get both those plays for 15 bucks. Sign up early and get a high roller bonus tonight. There's three plays in all for 15 bucks. one 575 8916 And Jim, uh, coming off a very successful start to the season, mentioned the big game of the month winner last week with Washington State. Pro totals, ace the board, 5-0. and Guess you got some confidence going into this weekend. I do, Dave, and and um, you know I've probably never worked uh, this hard at, at at football, and not that I haven't in the past, but it just seems when you're doing well, uh, you seem to have more energy. I think that the positive uh, adrenaline that gets into your system. August was an incredibly good month, and it's carried over to September. I have the I'm up early in the morning. I'm working till late at night. I'm uh, pushing, sh- shoving the chips in with both hands, and I'm going to shove them in for this show, a best bet on UCLA. I actually love this play. Remind everybody what you got going for a special this weekend, too. Oh, you think I can remember my phone number? Well, <laughs> I got it's it on right the screen here. anyway. I'm, so. only, I'm, <laughs> only ki- I'm only kidding. I, I did that before. I found it again. The number to call, one 841 1655. What do you get? NFL and college football executive releases through the end of September. That's right. And you get a high roller release going tonight and my college rivalry game of the month on Saturday. $39, guys. 39 grocery dollars. That's right. 39 grocery dollars. Not 3900 which it's worth because you're going to win and you're going to win big. NFL, college releases, high roller, game of the month rivalry game, 39 bucks, 1-866-841-1655.
All right, that's going to wrap up the college edition of ProLine. Don't forget, of course, there's an NFL edition every week. We do two shows each week during the football season, so hopefully providing some good information and a little entertainment for you. For Jim Feist, John Creighton, H.K. Malay, Jeff Sod, I'm Dave Koken. Have a winning weekend, everybody. We'll talk to you next week.